Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to episode 4 of my 6x6x6 paper pad series. So it's 6x6 paper pads over 6 weeks and you have 3 videos a week um, in this series. So we're on episode number 4 now. Um, if you haven't watched any of the others so far then um, there is a playlist with them all included. So do just head over to my channel and um, have a look for the 6x6x6 playlist and they'll all be there. So I'm working with the Dear Lizzie Stay Colourful collection for this one and you can see here that I'm already running pretty low in this paper pad. Um, I'm not too sure how many sheets you get. You get 36 papers in this um, but I've used quite a few already So um, <clears throat> and I have uh, other videos coming up in the series. So all those paper scraps you just saw, um, there are some videos as to how you can use those um, on your layouts. So I'm just trimming off the perforated edge of each of the 6x6 papers and um, the whole idea of this is I'm going to sort of deconstruct and reconstruct the squares into triangles um, and create a diagonal pattern across the page. So I'm just cutting these papers into half um, diagonally and then half again. I was going to use this mermaid paper, um, but knowing that I want triangles, I wasn't too sure whether the pattern was going to um, be correct or not. I don't think it would have been, so I decided to go without. And yeah, I just used the, that green paper, the black and white, the um, blue one, and this marble pattern. So the whole idea of this um, is to create a um, diagonal pattern so the left bottom half of the page is where my design is going to be. So I'm just laying out my triangles and making sure I've got no two of the same pattern next to each other. And I've decided to uh, rearrange and then just to st stuck them all down. Now they didn't all quite fit properly and I think it's because the... Um, I think the paper pad might be slightly wider than a six inch, potentially. Um, so I made it fit anyway. And doing my usual trick here, just backing my photograph on some white, plain white card. And you'll have to watch on how many times in this video I have something blow across my desk because um, it's pretty hot here today and um, I've, got, I've had to have the fan going. So... Um, yeah, you'll see multiple things blow across my desk because of this. Ten points to who can uh, correctly guess how many things do end up flying across. So I'm just deciding where I want my photo. Now that underneath here is there's a slight overlap of the triangles. And I could have messed around and cut them down a little bit more um, to make them fit. But um, because I know that my photograph is going to be going in that area, I wasn't too concerned. So just adding on some uh, foam, uh, double-sided foam dots just to give my height some dimension. And there was another bit of scrap just flying across the screen again then. And just popping that over there where the layers <clears throat> slightly overlap. And just trimming off the edge of that little pokey out bit. So... On to my embellishments. So I looked at this chipboard sticker first of all and I was going to pop it there. Um, but I do ultimately ultimately decide that that's roughly where I want my title to be. So I move it and you'll see that it doesn't end up staying in the uh, place that I move it to. So I am using the um, chipboard. I'm using these um, glittered die cut words from the same collection and you'll see here that I can't it doesn't just doesn't go so I'm going to move that oh happy day piece up um, that doesn't make it into the final layout anyway I'm just going to move that foam dot back um, doesn't make it into the final layout anyway um, I do mess around with the embellishments quite a bit when deciding what I want to do so these um, die cut words these are brilliant if you can get these little um, foam pads and just bump them up with some um, foam adhesive. I think they look so much better than if they're laid flat on a layout. And so I just add these on 
and the shadowing behind um, gives a great effect. So I'm just going to pop that and it really pops on the white as well. So I'm just going to pop that on there. There we are. And then onto the stickers. So I'm just having a look um, as to what I want to do. I like this little butterfly. I think I've run out of all the um, butterfly stickers and ephemera in this pack now. Uh, but that's whole, the whole part of um, the whole part of this series um, for sure is to you know to get it used up. And I've said in one of my previous videos that I'm just embracing the random. Um, so I do apologise because the bottom of this layout is um, is off the screen. And I didn't notice, um, so apologies, but you will see it at the end. So all I've done there is there was a bicycle sticker. Um, so I've lay, I've put that and then I've put a little sticker over the top that says stay colourful. And um, just two little puffy um, ice cream cones as well have been added to that cluster down the bottom there. So I'm just adding some foam to the back of this butterfly as well, um, just giving that some dimension. And um, yeah, just gonna have a look through the um, the ephemera pack. So that little camera there does end up in the um, cluster down to the bottom left. Um, you will see this, there you go, you'll see it there now. Um, yeah, apologies, I didn't notice how far off screen my layout was. Um, I've got a little bit of a makeshift um, filming setup at the moment. I've had to move my um, camera arm uh, my my room is being packed up. Um, I'm moving in uh, a week, maybe ten days. So I'm starting to pack everything up in my um, in my craft room. So yeah, just trying to make do at the moment. And um, yeah, do let me know in the comments down below if um, I know I did a craft room tour of um, where I am at the moment uh, about a year ago. I think it was so. Um, if you're interested in a craft room tour in my new house um, very shortly, then um, let me know below and I will film a new craft room tour if there's enough interest for it. So just going through the um, ephemera, the rest of the die cut ephemera, um, and this is where I've decided to take that chipboard um, piece out and instead I go with that circular Hello Weekend and I still really struggle with this. So I've got the um, cluster in the top right there just to fill that white space. And um, it didn't matter what pieces I used, uh, it just wasn't working. And so I discovered that the top left uh, was gonna give more of a natural um, sort of triangle effect. And so that's where it ends up staying. And I add that bird, is it a toucan? I wanna call it a toucan, I add the bird in as well. Um, because it's not going to make it on any other layout and I wanted some of that green colour to be pushed up to the top as well so that helps do that so I'm just going through the Dear Lizzie uh, American Crafts 30 page sticker book and I'm just dragging in some of these yellow hearts and stars they're just flat paper stickers and it really helps to move that yellow colour around the page because um, the yellow colour is present in the bicycle sticker at the bottom, um, but not really anywhere else. So um, that helps to put a pop of yellow in each of the other clusters as well. Just adding some double-sided tape onto the back of that chipboard piece, because we all know that chipboard does not like to stick very well. So that will just help keep it in place. And then just adding the little bird above that. I'm going to call it a toucan, I'm pretty sure it is. Someone's going to correct me if I'm wrong, no doubt. So I was going to stitch around each of the triangles as well. However, um, that's another thing that's um, that's packed um, up now is my sewing machine. So um, I might go back in and do some faux stitching just to give it a little bit more um, interest. But I'm quite happy with how this turns out. So um, if I do, I do. Or I might do the stitching in, in when I move. I don't know. We'll see. So I found this little orange piece of um, washi strip from the sticker book as well. And I think it's got little oranges and lemons on, um, which has no relevance to this theme. But I wanted that orange colour um, because the photograph um, is one that I've colour popped. Um, so I've turned it black and white and then I've just colour popped the orange. Um, I don't even know what you call them. They're from one of those air hockey games. So, um, yeah, I'm just dragging in some more of that orange colour um, into each of the clusters. 
And this is pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed episode four of 6 by 6 by 6 Join me back here on Wednesday for episode five. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you all, as I said, back here on Wednesday. Bye.